Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this class challenge in the Stormcaller class. Now, I will be using the new legendary that's recently come out, High Priest Chaazka. But if you don't have her, then I will show an alternative team, which most players are going to have as well. But first things first, make sure you always grab, if you can, a tier 1 from the shop. This is going to give you a potion of enchantment, which means all your troops will start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entirety of this event, which is really handy. As well as that, you'll pick up extra Stormcaller XP, extra class troll to troops, and class troll sigils and more. Now, if you spotted this weapon at the end of tier 5 here, and you're a newer player, don't go rushing out spending all your gems to buy it. You can actually just get this quite easily by doing 250 wins in the Stormcaller class and you can just do this by just selecting explore level 1 and just rinse and repeat with your quickest possible team and you'll obtain that weapon in no time. Now the team I'm going to use for this, um, like I said it does use the new legendary troop High Priest Chaska. really really like this troop, I absolutely love the fact that it has that third trait, it conjures a light storm when my turn begins. Really good, being able to have a constant light storm without having to use Stormcaller class now. That is absolutely superb. And she deals a decent amount of damage to all enemies, boosted by yellow gems, and blesses all yellow allies. A bless is basically a super cleanse. You get cleansed and blessed at the same time. Really, really good. She'll start off in first place, but um, we'll move her down the order as the battles get harder. Queen Zochi is in second and third place. Now, she wouldn't dream of going to battle in anything as cumbersome as a top and a bra, so she just has a few feathers to cover her modesty. What a girl. Deals damage to all enemies, and if there's a storm, explode five gems. There will be a storm because of our High Priest Chaezko, so we are guaranteed to be exploding those gems, doing damage, and collecting mana for the team at the same time. The weapon I'm going to use for this is the Staff of Storms. Explodes yellow gems, grants a random status effect to all Strix allies, which is the three troops above, and summons a Strix troop as well, just in case we lose anybody. And we've got a backup light storm as well. If by pure unluckiness or clumsiness on my part, for example, we lose High Priest Chazka, we're still going to be getting that light storm, so still get an absolute ton of yellow for the team. So that's the team I'm going to use Stormcaller. Champion Talents, Resilience, Purification, a Fast Healing, Fey Vengeance, Healing Herb, and a Lightning Strike. The medals, I've started with one Arnu for a little boost to the uh, team. And you don't actually need that Medal of Orpheus that I've got there if you um, stick on the Medal of Seasons. That is pretty decent as well because we've got a cleanse for the whole team with High Priest S. Chazka. Right, so let's um, dive in. The banner for this is the plus two yellow, plus one purple, minus one green banner. I should have showed that at the beginning because I can't remember what that's called, but plus two yellow. Just look up that and you'll find it in no time. Right, so we're just going to grab mana for the team. We don't use blue, but I'll get that anyway. You can get that now. May as well get that. If you're a newer player, all that gold adds up by collecting those extra matches you'll see that I've skipped a few of the early battles it was simply a case of just getting one of the troops charged up and then just casting them so there's no real point in showing those super early battles so I've jumped forward slightly and the combination of all these three troops all casting back to back is going to do like a heavy amount of, of damage obviously that is reliant on your on your individual level in the game. But um, I'll just show it quickly now. If you don't have a High Priestess Chaazka, then just pop in an extra Queen, Queen Zochi. And this is the troops you got to pick from if you have Garuda. It's a, not a bad shout. Does damage to all enemies as well. Anybody that does damage to all enemies is going to just deal with this um, event really, really quickly. If you happen to have a Phoenicia, that would be good. Quilzama is not too bad, but it takes a little bit of mana charging. And Toloka, not bad either. 50, in my case, scatter damage. And if there's a storm, which there will be, deal uh, triple damage. So, um, but I am a fan of the uh, way of getting this done using these troops that do damage to all. It's really good. And you don't really even need this Staff of Storms 
in a way, again, you can actually change this weapon if you feel like it. If you want damage to all, just go down to your search bar, type in damage to all, search by that, and all your weapons will come up which do damage to all, and Black Manacles is always a good shout. Good amount of damage to all enemies and a 20% chance to devour a random enemy at the same time. If you're an early level player, then Wicked Scythe is very decent as well. Damage to all enemies. And only 10 mana cost as well. But I'll just carry on with this team for now. See how far we can take it before we need to maybe rearrange the team slightly. That's the good thing about these damage to all teams as well. Entanglement. It doesn't matter. We're not doing skull damage. We don't care about that. If we get skull damage, it's incidental. We're not actually looking for that. We're just looking to get the teams, the team charged up, cast everyone one after the other, and do a heavy amount of damage. Come on then, Mab. Show me what you got. Not literally. But it's up to you. And let's get some purple. When you need to cast more than once and other allies aren't charged up yet, it's better to cast Zochi first because if there's a storm explode, five gems, she will do that and we'll get extra mana for the rest of the team. This is why later on in the game I may actually switch Queen Zochi and High Priestess Chazka around. No purple, no brown. Yellow was obviously fine. There you go, and the explosion from Zochi got the rest of the team, got the um, got self charged up again for a, a second charge. Should always do it that way round as well, because obviously if you cast High Priest Chazka, there's no way of getting an extra turn out of that. Where if you cast Zochi with that explosion, there is a chance, especially with the storm. That you're going to get an extra turn. I love the storm that Chaska creates. It's amazing. So quick, so easy. And no, I wasn't talking about you, Zochi. Well, it was. Technically, but not in that way. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm nice. Uh, yellow. Zotti first, get the explosion. She's self charged. I want bam baluda, I want bam boo. They're all gone. Grab these yellow at the bottom. No yellow, look for purple. No purple, look for brown. No that, anything. May as well cast this. That bless is really handy. Can save you in all sorts of different situations. Mab. Let's talk to you first. High Priestess Chaska next. Lots of queens in this game. I don't know how many queens there are compared to kings, but I suspect it's roughly even. What's a nice surge. Everyone's charged up. These are going to be gone. Cast them all back to back. Queen's actually doing the damage. Nice and fast. Come on, Isabel. Don't give me that look. You know you're going down.
No need to actually, you know, collect things like this if you don't want to. The explosion from Zochi will generate a decent amount of mana. He says, and it didn't generate a lot of mana. That's the way it goes. So somebody, yeah, you probably should have taken that yellow, actually. It's a guaranteed bunch of mana, you see, not um, based on luck. And Trilly Yang. Hardly ever see him in, in, in teams. On paper, his spell sounds actually quite decent, but it's just hardly ever see him. A purple and a yellow, a bit green at the same time that we don't use, but hey ho! There you go. Let's get the yellow. Explosion. Bit of extra mana. AI hey, decided it wants a few extra turns. But it's. Fate was sealed! These are really good for boosting up your um, the champion talents, these events. They're nice and quick most of the time, like this one is going to be pretty fast all around. And you get extra XP, which is super useful. Ask for Staff of Storms to generate the mana. And High Priest Chiaska is ready to go again. Not seeing any reason to even change the order of the team around. At the moment, that time may come, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Might as well get this brown, make hay while the sun shines and all that. She's self-charged again, so we cast her again. Now we cast the other one again, the other Queen Zochi. I'll get one more. I'll get one more. Always remember to grab your um, rewards as well. Some tasty rewards in these. Extra gems. Lots of Stormcaller XP. Really boosts it up nice and quick. But, um, yeah, I'll just grab one more lot. Just do a couple more because this is the way the team is going to work. It's pretty straightforward. In fact, it's amazingly straightforward, let's be honest. Um, all you've got to remember to do is cast Queen Zochi when she's there because she can self-charge and you can just keep on keep on casting if you require. How about some yellow gems in this yellow storm, eh? Alright, let's get the start of storms cast. One Zochi, self-charged, and didn't need to do anything else. Yeah, this is going to be quick. This is not hanging around. I had a stare on it, like, Isabel. It's like, what have you done to her to deserve that look? It's like, you know, we just wake up in a bad mood, or, or supposed to have done something, and then that thing where you don't know what that thing is you're meant to have done. It's supposed to be some sort of mind reader and just know. We've all been there. Alright, this will probably be the last one because this is the team. Let's use it. I'd say you can swap around the order, put High Priest Jazka. Um, in the middle, maybe, between two Zochis. Always good to get Queen Zochi casting first, because of her chance to repeat repeat cast. Now we cast our weapon. Now yeah, Zochi's ready as well. Grab that sort of thing, because sometimes you get surprised by an enemy summon or something like that. And you just didn't bother to collect that thing and the fight was over and suddenly you get a summon and it's like, hey, where did they come from? So there it is. There's uh, the team. It's going to be fast and easy. 
I've gone up another level already. I was 90, I just turned to 96 when I started this, so a few more and Stormcaller class will be finished on level 100. So there's a video. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And um, I've done another video earlier today on the Wild King combination with Gargoyle, which is quite interesting. That is a really interesting way to boost up the Wild King's um, spell, or not Wild King spell actually, how to boost up Gargoyle's spell, which becomes super devastating when combined with the Wild King. So take a look at that if you've not done so already. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.